What's going on guys, Lawson here. I don't know if you noticed, but I shaved my, my homeless teenager scruff beard that I had going on. I was finally broke down and decided to shave it after I was sitting there editing and I was like, wow, I look like garbage. So, little beard's gone. But anyways, I wanted to film an intro and kind of talk about this video that I'm about to show you guys about to watch because originally what we set out to do that day didn't work out you know we wanted to try to catch some big jack and some big snook and we ended up just getting absolutely demolished by barracudas it was just insane so videos about barracudas and then ended up kind of putting two days together that one afternoon and the next morning and so that is the footage you're about to watch i hope you guys enjoy it so the plan is today Alyssa wants to catch a big jack so does that mean i take big snook and you take big jack or does that mean you take everything it <laughs> takes everything, okay. Well, we got a big live mullet. Unfortunately, this is pretty much our smallest mullet we have, so we're gonna see if we can make do. Now, I don't know if those were snook or barracuda. I think they were snook. Oh, okay, okay. It is a barracuda. That was good. Oh, and look, and there is literally a freaking monster-sized jack revolve. Good God! And now I don't have a hook on. See that huge black shape coming towards the boat? That's the freaking 35 pounder we're looking for right there. We don't have a hook. Look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> it's a bear. It's a bear. Yeah, the barracuda is only like eight inches bigger than our mullet, and he's just sitting there tailing it. Oh, come on, get it. <laughs> The barracuda. I think he freaking cut my leader up. He cut my bait, but he also sliced my leader a little bit here. The barracuda just don't care. I'm just trying to drag this bait along until I see a jack. I'm getting barracudas coming boat side trying to poach it. He cut it up. He did put a nice, oh gosh, he put a big old bite mark on the back end of this bait. All right, we're about to float out a live mullet, but I've rigged up my big eight foot 6,000 right here with a uh, big needlefish plug for barracuda, and maybe jack as well, but this is mainly gonna be for cuda since we've been seeing a lot of them. And Alyssa, I think I'll have her float out a live mullet. This thing is gonna get cranked, look at that. Doesn't that not look awesome? That was sweet or what? That was a hell of a neat right there. Oh gosh, I just got crushed. I don't know what that was though. That looks like a jack, dude. Alyssa's floating a mullet out the back and I'm throwing a big giant seven and a half inch jerk bait right here. This thing is a donkey, but we're throwing it on a 6,000 size reel and we're just gonna rip it pretty quick and see if maybe we can connect with a jack or a snook. This would be a good median where pretty much any fish will eat a jerk bait, you know what I mean? So we could get kudas, jacks, snook. We'll see what happens. Oh god! I just got crushed by it. This <laughs> barracuda on the jerk bait right there. <laughs> yeah, I got one. <laughs> it's not very big. It's not little either, but it's not big. And we just had a boat of uh, subs drive by yelling at me saying, hey. I'm just trying to keep this barracuda's teeth out of the line. It's not even a very big one, but... Very cool though. I'm 
I'm gonna dip this cooter in the water. Oh god. Okay, there he goes, dude. That thing would not stop fighting the second he got in the boat. We didn't get to show him off to the camera, but <laughs> I'd rather him be released healthy than show him off to the camera, to be honest. And he was fighting every inch of the second trying to get back into the water. Well, didn't really get to properly show him off, but there's our first fish of the day. Uh, Barracuda on a big seven and a half inch jerk bait right there. Liz is still floating a monster mullet, but we're gonna reset and see if we can get some more fish. Oh, no, it's not a bad one, though. He's thinking about it. I don't have any steel leader on here, so it's kind of just a game of touch and go here. I think he's about to come up again, maybe. Oof, he's barely hooked. He's hooked in the top of the head. He might come off just because he's like... There we go. First fish of the morning right there. Just a nice, big, fat, stinky baccaruda. Man, these fish are just insane. They jump, they scream drag, they pull hard. I mean, just literally a world-class game fish kind of in disguise, honestly. And look at that freaking mouth on this handsome fella. All right, that's a nice one. We're gonna get him released here. right there all right that's pretty painless let's see if we get another one if any of you guys know why barracuda stank so bad right below in the comments let me know because they really do like and i personally don't think it's like a gross smell it's just a very funky smell that barracuda is having it's super distinct too i've never had another fish smell like that so if you know what that's all about let me know <laughs> All right, it's been about 20 minutes since that first fish, but I want to talk to you guys real quick about the gear I'm throwing. It may be a little bit overkill, but I'll kind of explain. So, eight foot heavy G Loomis E6X inshore rod, 6,000 size Saragossa, 20 pound braid. It's pretty light, but I like a bigger line capacity on my spool. Attached to 60 pound fluorocarbon right here, attached with an FG knot, if you can even see that little baby and then throwing a needlefish plug it's called a lemire's i think a lemire's plug i don't know a lemire's needlefish plug so i could definitely get away with throwing smaller gear than this like four thousands or maybe even a three thousand but you know we're fishing around a lot of structure a lot of docks and these fish you know i don't want to put too much strain on them a lot of times when you catch bigger fish like jack and barracuda fish that run really hard like jack barracuda bonita tuna stuff like that when you fight them on really light gear you can but a lot of times you can kill those fish if you use too light a gear and fight them for too long and so that's when a big heavier rod you can still get a lot of fun fight at them and i've hooked a few giants doing this inshore cuda fishing so you never know what you're really going to hook you know and using a 4,000 size reel i've had close calls where i've been broken off on pilings or fish nearly spooling me you know i've caught a few giants and when you have this bigger rod you can really stick a fish when it gets near a dock and that can make all the difference between landing the biggest fish of your life or losing the biggest fish of your life is having the proper rod and reel to back up what you're throwing. But that is what we're doing. We're just working this plug really fast across top. It's not really even a top water, but I'm working it so fast that it's just kind of skipping in and out of the water like that. I just saw the barracudas seem to like it. Barracudas and Jack, they like stuff moving freaking fast, dude. But that's the plan. We're gonna keep throwing and see if we can get on another. Oh, 
God! He's broke me off right there. Got above the leader. Crap, dude. That was a freaking toad, and he crushed it. Damn. Just clean sliced. All right, we put on a little wax wing right here. The problem is, if you guys have watched my CUDA videos before, when I filmed some, that I don't throw traditional lures. I throw these funny little pink CUDA tubes, is what they are, and they work phenomenally, and they have a steel leader built into them. Unfortunately, me and my uh, infinite wisdom here, I left a whole entire box of tubes. I have like 12 of them sitting at my house, but they're all just sitting in my garage, and I left them there, and so I don't have any tubes. And the problem is, I could put steel on, but man, I have tried it before in the past, and I cannot get a bite the second I put a steel leader on from these fish. If I'm using an artificial, you know, they'll still hit a live mullet with steel on it. But when I'm throwing an artificial, they just will not touch it if it has a steel leader hanging on it. And it's just kind of the risk you got to run. You got to hope that they don't hit so far above your line or so fast and freaking hard like that one just did. But, you know, I hate breaking off fish, and I hate putting lures in their mouths. But... To be honest, that fish probably didn't even get the lure hooked into his mouth since he ate so far above it. All right, I'm gonna call it just because basically I don't have any lures really that great for targeting barracudas. You know, I can throw jerk baits and different types of swim baits and they work semi well, but really barracudas like very slender and long profile that you can rip through the water very fast. So like that needlefish plug I was throwing, tubes, Things of that nature work extremely well for barracudas. And I unfortunately just don't have any with me right now, so I think we're going to call it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little montage of the past few days. And, you know, I was on the fence about even saving the footage from last night, but I figured it's all barracuda-centered. So I figured I might as well include it all today. And barracudas are just so much fun. And like I said, it's just really hard to explain. They are probably one of the most underrated game fish, at least in my opinion. And I know there's people who enjoy catching them, and there's guides in the Keys who will go and fish for them. But for the most part, people don't target Barracuda that often. But I mean, they're a ton of fun to catch. And they pull drag, they hit like a freaking truck, they run super fast, they can get seven feet out of the air. They're just insane fish, really just that's all there is to it they are insane but i am done for the day i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate you guys very much thank you for everything